Hi guys, took this to the skate park uh, yesterday I think it was and did some filming with it. I had an onboard camera on it and when I was watching the playback I was listening to the noises and it sounded like it was running with a flat tyre. And I checked the wheels, the wheels are all fine. And then it eventually occurred to me that it's probably when it's running it's in the wheel arches. Front end's quite clear. Well, it's got plenty of flexibility, but I think it's actually rubbing up there, which is giving it the continuous drumming noise that it, you could hear, say, just like a flat tire. So I've just taken the clips off, and I reckon I can probably change out these springs, or maybe even just stretch them a little bit to give them a bit more a um, bit more tension. So I think that's all it is. I think they're just up. Unless we can actually move them to a different position or adjust them. I wonder if they can be adjusted. A thought. I haven't thought about adjusting them. I haven't actually considered they might be adjustable. Let's raise them up a bit. Let's just take them all the way out. Alright, that's loose. We don't want them actually loose. Oh, I hadn't realised it was adjustable. I bet what's happened is I've taken the back end off at some time and just screwed it all the way in. When in fact there's an adjustment. Seems to give us a bit more clearance. Still going to touch the wheel arch under compression, but this is just running along on the flat. Yeah, we'll give that a try like that, see if that makes any difference to the noise. I mean, I may be wrong, but that would seem to be logical. That if that was rubbing up on the wheel arch, we'd have got a continuous drumming noise. The other thing I was wondering about was whether I could actually take the, the windscreen and that out to put a camera inside. It looks like that's hot glued in place. thought it'd be an interesting camera angle if we could stick the camera inside. I don't want to break anything. Right, I'll do that off screen just in case it does break and I swear a lot. Hmm, that 
did pop out without breaking. So I could stick a camera just there so we can see the front of the bonnet as it's going along. Might be a different camera angle. Might just try that in the kitchen here because then we can have a listen for the drumming noise at the same time. Right, action camera. Probably can't see what it's seeing there. It's just looking over the bonnet. I just thought that'd be a slightly different camera angle. Just to make it a little bit interesting. Start that recording, we'll just run it up and down. I can't hear that um, drumming noise when I'm watching it. It was only because the camera was actually attached. Right there, the mini camera was just stuck on the side there. And I think it was right next to the wheel. So it would have picked up any noise like that. saying in the previous video the steering's very slow to react I tend to overcorrect oops didn't mean to hit the tripod either Because I'm trying to hear if it's drumming, aren't I? So I ought to just run it up and down gently.
got a bit carried away playing with it instead of doing what I intended to do, which was listen out for the drumming noise. But I think I could hear it anyway. I think it's in the transmission. I don't think it's rubbing on the bodywork there. And having loosened that on the bodywork, I can see the back bumper is ever so close to the floor now. Let's just grab the camera. Yeah, this is ever so low now. Got some sort of interference in here, but yeah, loosening that isn't helping because that's gonna catch. Right, that'll do. Switch it off. We'll take the battery out in a minute. And we'll put that windscreen back in place because that doesn't give us a particularly good view. Just a bit of the bonnet. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.